Hello dear students, in this video I will start with the second term portion for CBC class 11 applied mathematics. Here I will discuss about factorial from chapter 6 permutations and combinations. I will also solve the questions of exercise 1.1 of chapter 6 from the CBC book or the student support material. Now first we will see what is a factorial. The factorial is nothing but the product of first n natural numbers. It is called n factorial and it is it is denoted by this symbol. So, if we consider n factorial, it is the product 1 into 2 into 3 into up to etc. into n minus 1 into n and this is denoted by n factorial and we, we read this symbol as n factorial. So, based on this definition of factorial, we have 1 factorial is equal to 1 then 2 factorial is equal to 1 into 2 which is 2 then 3 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 which is 6 then 4 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 this is equal to 24 up to etc it goes on and one more point we have to notice 0 factorial is equal to 1 Another point is the factorial of a negative integer or a fraction is not defined. So, we do, we do not have factorial of a negative integer. So, here if we say n factorial, factorial it is the product of first n natural numbers. Now, moving on to the exercise questions. First question evaluate 6 factorial. So, 6 factorial we just now saw n factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 into up to etc into n minus 1 into n. So, 6 factorial will be 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6. So, this is 6 factorial. So, when we multiply all these terms 2 into 3 6 into 4 24 6 into 5 30. So, 24 into 30 is 720. So, 6 factorial is 720. Next question, 20 factorial upon 18 factorial. Now, we know 20 factorial is 1 into 2 into up to etc. into 17 into 18 into 19 into 20. Now, this 1 into 2 into up to etc till 18, this we can write it as 18 factorial. So, 20 factorial can be written as 18 factorial into 19 into 20. So, 20 factorial upon 18 factorial, this is equal to 18 factorial into 19 into 20 upon 18 factorial. So, these two will cancel out. So, 20 factorial upon 18 factorial is nothing but it is 19 into 20 or it is 380. Next question, 9 factorial minus 8 factorial upon 7 factorial. Now, here 9 factorial minus 8 factorial upon 7 factorial. Again, we can write this 9 factorial as 8 factorial into 9 because 9 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 into up to etc into 8 into 9. So, this we can write it as 8 factorial into 9. So, here we have 8 factorial into 9 minus 8 factorial upon 7 factorial. Here 8 factorial is common it can be taken outside. So, we have 8 factorial upon 7 factorial into 9 minus 1. Again, this 8 factorial is 7 factorial into 8 into 9 minus 1 is 8 upon 7 factorial. So, these two 7 factorial will go. The answer is 64. So, 9 factorial minus 8 factorial upon 7 factorial is 64. Next question is 4 factorial plus 5 factorial equal to 9 factorial. Easily we can see that these two are not equal. Anyway, let us consider the left hand side. 
so 4 factorial plus 5 factorial is 4 factorial into 1 plus 5 since we can write 5 factorial as 4 factorial into 5 so this is equal to 4 factorial into 6 4 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into this 1 plus 5 is 6 so this is equal to 144 now the right hand side is 9 factorial it is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 into 7 into 8 into 9 this is not equal to 144 therefore the answer for this is no Next question, compute n factorial upon n minus r factorial when first subdivision n is equal to 8, r is equal to 2. So, first let us take the first subdivision, n factorial by n minus r factorial is equal to 8 factorial upon 8 minus 2 factorial. So, it is 8 factorial upon 6 factorial. Now, 8 factorial we can write it as 6 factorial into 7 into 8 upon 6 factorial. So, this is equal to 56. So, when n is equal to 8 and r is equal to 2, n factorial by n minus r factorial is 56. Now, the second subdivision, when n is equal to 12, r is equal to 3. n factorial upon n minus r factorial is 12 factorial upon 12 minus 3 factorial or it is equal to 12 factorial upon 9 factorial. So, it is 9 factorial into 10 into 11 into 12 upon 9 factorial. So, these two will cancel out. So, 10 into 11 into 12 is 1320. Next question, if 1 by 6 factorial plus 1 by 7 factorial equal to x by 8 factorial, find x. So, given 1 by 6 factorial plus 1 by 7 factorial equal to x by 8 factorial. Now, this 7 factorial we can write it as 1 by 6 factorial into 7. This is equal to x by 8 factorial. So, here the LCM is 6 factorial into 7 or it is 7 factorial. 7 factorial is the LCM. Here we have 7 plus 1. This is equal to x by this 8 factorial we can write it as 7 factorial into 8. So, these two will go. We have 8 is equal to x by 8 or x is equal to 8 into 8, 64. So, this is x. Next question, evaluate. This is n factorial. Evaluate n factorial by r factorial into n minus r factorial when for these two cases. n equal to 13, r equal to 2, n equal to 8 and r equal to 5. Let us take the first subdivision. n factorial by r factorial into n minus r factorial will be 13 factorial upon 2 factorial into 13 minus 2 factorial or this this 13 factorial we can write it as 11 factorial into 12 into 13 upon 2 factorial is 1 into 2 into 13 minus 2 factorial is 11 factorial. So, these two will cancel out. So, the answer is 13 into 6 which is 78. Now, the second subdivision n equal to 8 and r equal to 5. So, here n factorial by r factorial into n minus r factorial is 8 factorial upon 5 factorial into 8 minus 5 factorial. So, this is equal to we can write this 8 factorial as 
5 factorial into 6 into 7 into 8 upon 5 factorial into 8 minus 5 factorial is 3 factorial. So, these two will cancel out. So, this is equal to 6 into 7 into 8 upon 2 in 3 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3. So, 6 and 2 into 3 will go. This is equal to 56. Next question, show that n plus 2 into n factorial equal to n factorial plus n plus 1 factorial. So, let us take the right hand side. The right hand side is n factorial plus n plus 1 factorial. This we can write it as n factorial plus n factorial into n plus 1. So, n factorial is common which can be taken outside. Inside the bracket we have 1 plus n plus 1 or it is n factorial into n plus 2. This is the left hand side. This is equal to the left hand side. Hence, proved. Next question, find n if n plus 1 factorial equal to 20 into n minus 1 factorial. So, we need to find n. Let us take the first subdivision n plus 1 factorial equal to 20 into n minus 1 factorial. This n plus 1 factorial can write it as n minus 1 factorial into n into n plus 1. This is equal to 20 into n minus 1 factorial. So, these two will go. So, we get a quadratic equation in n. So, n square plus n minus 20 equal to 0. So, the factors are, it is 5 and minus 4. So, when we solve this quadratic equation, we get n plus 5 into n minus 4 equal to 0. So, we get n is equal to 4 or n is equal to minus 5. We cannot have n is equal to minus 5. Because here we will get minus 5, minus 1, minus 6 factor, it is not possible. So, n is equal to 5. 4. Therefore, n is equal to 4. Since this is not possible. Now, the second subdivision n plus 2 factorial equal to 12 into n factorial. Again, this n plus 2 factorial we can write it as n factorial into n plus 1 into n plus 2. This is equal to 12 into n factorial. So, these two will cancel out. Here we get n square plus 3n plus 2 equal to 12. Or we have n square plus 3n minus 10 is equal to 12. So, again this is a quadratic equation in n. So, we have n plus 5 into n minus 2 equal to 0 which implies n is equal to 2 or n is equal to minus 5. Again this is not possible. So, n is equal to 2. Therefore, n is equal to 2. So, if n plus 2 factorial equal to 12 into n factorial it means n is equal to 2. Next question show that n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into up to etc n minus r plus 1 equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial. Here let us take the right hand side n factorial by n minus r factorial. This n factorial we can write it as 1 into 2 into 3 into up to etc n minus r n minus r into n minus r plus 1 into n minus r plus 2 into up to etc into n minus 1 into n upon n minus r factorial. Now, the product of these terms 1 into 2 into 3 into up to etc n minus r this is n minus r factorial. So, this is equal to n minus r factorial into n minus r plus 1 into n minus r plus 2 
into up to etc n minus 2 into n minus 1 into n upon n minus r factorial. So, these two will cancel out. So, this is equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into up to etc n minus r plus 1. This is equal to the left hand side. So, this is how we get n factorial by n minus r factorial as the product of these terms. Next question, if n factorial by 2 factorial into n minus 2 factorial divided by n factorial by 4 factorial into n minus 4 factorial equal to 2, find the value of n. So, using this relation, we have to find the value of n. So, this n factorial, I am writing it as our first let us write given n factorial by 2 factorial into n minus 2 factorial divided by n factorial by 4 factorial into n minus 4 factorial equal to 2. This n factorial we can write it as n minus 2 factorial into n minus 1 into n upon 2 factorial into n minus 2 factorial. This divided by n factorial by 4 factorial into n minus 4 factorial we can have into 4 factorial into n minus 4 factorial upon n factorial. This is equal to 2. So, here these two will cancel out. Or here we have n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial is 1 into 2 into 4 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into n minus 4 factorial upon this n factorial we can write it as n minus 4 factorial into n minus 3 into n minus 2 into n minus 1 into n this is equal to 2. So, these two will cancel out. n minus 4 factorial will cancel out. And here n, n, n minus 1, n minus 1 will go. This 2 and this 2 will go. These two will go 2 times. So, here we are left with 3 into 2, 6. This is equal to n minus 3 into n minus 2. Or we have n square minus 5n plus 6, this is equal to 6. So, again these two will go. We have n into n minus 5 equal to 0 or we get n is equal to 5 or n is equal to 0. Again here we cannot have n is equal to 0 because we will get negative factorial here. So, this is not possible. Therefore, n equal to 5. So, this is how we can use factorial to simplify and find the values. I hope this video was useful for you. Thank you for watching.